For the first time in history, cyber theft has surpassed physical theft. These days, a big part of our lives is online, and many people are going about their lives with no way to lock up with their online home. So what's the risk? Well, unfortunately, cyber crimes are on the rise. Now that so many people are working remotely, attacking even large corporations has gotten easier. Their cybersecurity is only as good as their employees' security. One report showed that 94% of organizations faced a cyber attack in 2020. And in 2021, data breaches cost business this is four and a quarter million dollars. These numbers are insane. So how do hackers attack the big companies? Well, in order to explain that, I need to introduce you to the term malware. Malware comes from two words, malicious and software. Basically, it's a software that damages computers, websites, and the like. It's been around for ages, but there's always some new approach that hackers are using. Malware normally comes through a link planted by hackers. It is the main tool in these attacks. Once installed, it spreads spreads to other computers in the network. It can block access to your network, steal sensitive information, or even destroy your system. In this video, we'll discuss 10 types of malware attacks, how they affect you, and what to do about them. So let's get started. Number one, ransomware. Ransomware is a malware attack that allows hackers to hold data for ransom. If the victim doesn't pay up, the hacker could destroy or publish the information depending on what it is. Normally, ransomware is accidentally downloaded through attachments. Number two, crypto jacking. Crypto jacking is when someone else uses your computer to secretly mine crypto. This may not be a huge immediate threat, but it does slow down your computer. Number three, viruses. Viruses are malicious pieces of code that damage your device. They can lay dormant in a host file or document on your computer for a long time before doing anything. But when something triggers it, its code activates. That's when it can spread across computers and even across networks. Number four, Trojans. Just like the real Trojans, Trojan horse was disguised as a gift, Trojans are disguised as helpful software. But really, hackers are using this helpful software as a backdoor. Once in, Trojans are commonly used to steal credit card information or passwords. They can even watch your keystrokes to steal your login and banking information. Number five, worms. Worms are similar to viruses, except that they don't require a host. They're standalone pieces of malware that spread through files and programs on their own. Normally, they spread by email. They simply duplicate themselves and send a copy to everyone in the hacked email's contact list. Number six, spyware. Spyware is exactly what it sounds like. Malware that spies on you. Some spyware collects information like browsing habits. Other spyware records keystrokes to collect sensitive data like passcodes. One new and sophisticated spyware called Pegasus can even read your texts and track your calls. And like any good spy, spyware is a master of disguise. It can be distributed through links, phishing emails, pop-ups, ads, and even poisoned Google links. Number seven, adware. Long story short, adware shows you ads. It tracks your web activity, displays unwanted ads, and can even install plugins. It's not as harmful as some of the others we've talked about today, but it is annoying and it can cause problems down the line. Number eight, drive-by downloads. You actually don't have to download anything to be infected with a drive-by download. Just by visiting an infected site, drive-by downloads automatically enter your computer. They can also be bundled with other software when you download it. Number nine, IoT device attacks. In case you haven't heard this term before, IoT device stands for Internet of Things device. So IoT devices are smart devices that are connected to the internet. For example, smartwatches and appliances that can be controlled from a smartphone app are IoT devices. Since IoT devices don't normally have the space for proper security systems, they can be easy targets. Once a hacker gets in, they can gain access to your whole system. As the world is becoming more digitized, we're seeing more and more of these attacks on IoT devices. Just in the first half of 2021, more than one and a half billion IoT devices were breached and used for cyber attacks. Number 10, cross-site scripting. Cross-site scripting is when hackers insert malicious scripts into websites. Like most hacking attempts, it is done to steal people's information. When users log on, they can click on content that they think is legitimate. But of course, it's a trap. So with so many ways for cyber criminals to break in, what can you do to keep yourself and your organization safe? Well, first off, you should keep educating yourself just like you are right now. Of course, preventing a problem is simpler than solving a problem, so it's always important to stay vigilant. As you probably noticed, bad links and downloads 
are a reoccurring theme among almost all these attacks. That means they can mostly be avoided by making sure you're not clicking on infected links and initiating harmful downloads. Keep your privacy settings strong so that they really provide you with protection. And always back up your files. Also, having a good cybersecurity system that provides both protection and insurance is priceless. One great system is Aura. Not only do they help you prevent an attack, but they provide you with a million dollar insurance policy. Well, those are the 10 cyber attacks that you really need to know. While cyber attacks are a booming industry right now, you don't have to be a part of it. So remember to lock up and stay on top of your cybersecurity. My name is Upton. Don't forget to follow us here for more information on just how to do that. See you next time.